Now before we talk about how to convert electron volts to joules, let's talk about what an electron volt is. Electron volts is basically a unit of energy. And it relates to the electron. So let's say if we have two plates. And let's say this is a negatively charged plate and this is a positively charged plate. And these two plates differ by one volt. So let's say this is at zero volts and this is at one volt. The energy acquired by a single electron as it moves through a potential difference of one volt, that energy is equal to the electron volt. The electric potential energy is basically equal to the product of the charge times the electric potential in volts. So the magnitude of the charge of an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And in this example, we have a potential difference of 1 volt. 1 volt is equal to 1 joule per coulomb. So in this case, the coulombs cancel. So for an electron that moves through a potential difference of 1 volt, it's going to acquire 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 joules. And so that's equal to an electron volt. So that's how much energy an electron acquires if it moves through a potential of 1 volt. And so now you know the relationship between electron volts and joules. Now, I do want to mention something important. As this electron moves from the negatively charged plate towards the higher, more positively charged plate, it gains one electron volt of kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy of the molecule increases. However, the potential energy, that is the electric potential energy, decreases. It loses one electron volt. So the mechanical energy of the electron does not change. So keep that in mind. The electric force, which is, the electric field is directed this way, but the electron feels an electric force opposite to the direction of the electric field. The electric force is a conservative force, and therefore it doesn't change the mechanical energy of a charged particle. So whenever a charged particle moves in the direction of an electric field or opposite to the direction of the electric field, the kinetic and the potential energies of that charged particle will change, but the mechanical energy is the same. So in this case, as the kinetic energy of the electron increases by one electron volt as it moves from this plate to that plate, the electric potential energy decreases by that same amount. And so the mechanical energy of the electron is conserved. Now let's talk about how to convert electron volts to joules. So as mentioned before, one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. So start with what you're given, 250 electron volts. I'm going to put the unit one electron volt on the bottom. And on the top, I'm going to put this. So these two will cancel. And then it's simply going to be 250 times 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. So in this example, it's 4 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. So that's a simple way in which you can convert electron volts to joules. Now let's say if we have this value, 4 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. How can we convert this to electron volts? Go ahead and try this problem. So we need to start with what we're given and then use the same conversion. There's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules per electron volt. And so set it up in such a way that the unit joules cancel, leaving behind electron volts. So this time, we need to divide. And so this turns out to be 25 electron volts. So what this means is that one electron would have a voltage of 25 volts. So let's say if there were two electrons, 
it would have a voltage of 12.5 volts. That means each electron will have a voltage of 12.5 volts. So the total energy would be 25 electron volts. If there were five electrons, each would have a voltage of five volts for a total energy of 25 electron volts. So let's say if we have an energy value of 100 electron volts. So one electron with this energy would have a potential of 100 volts. Two electrons would each have a potential of 50. So 50 plus 50 would be 100. Four electrons would each have a voltage of 25. 10 electrons would each have a voltage of 10 volts. So hopefully this gives you a better understanding of electron volts. So as you increase the number of electrons, the voltage on each electron decreases so that they can have the same energy. So to calculate the electron volts or the number of electron volts, you can multiply the number of electrons that you have by the voltage on each. So let's say if there's 40 electrons and each electron has 50 volts. So the energy, the total energy of these 40 electrons will be 40 times 50. And so that's going to be 2,000 electron volts. Let's calculate it with this equation. So Q would represent the charge of one electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to negative 19. And let's not worry about the negative sign, even though it's supposed to be negative. And this is supposed to be Coulomb's. I put joules for some reason. So that's the charge of one electron. So since we're dealing with 40 electrons, we're going to multiply by 40. And each electron has a voltage of 50 volts. So that's going to be 50 joules per coulomb. So that's the energy of each electron per charge or per unit charge. So it's 40 times 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 times 50. And so this is going to be 3.2 times 10 to negative 16 joules. Now, if we want to convert joules back to electron volts, we would have to divide it by 1.6 times 10 to negative 19. And this will give us 2,000 electron volts. So you can think of this value as being the number of electrons multiplied by the voltage on each electron. So let's say if you have a group of electrons and the total energy is 5,000 electron volts. If each electron has a voltage of 20 volts, how many electrons are there? So what's the number of electrons present? So let's see if we can come up with a formula. So the energy in electron volts is going to be equal to the number of electrons, all right, n sub e times the voltage of each electron. So let's put v for volts. So the total energy is 5,000 electron volts. We're looking for the number of electrons, and each electron is 20 volts. So it's going to be 5,000 divided by 20. And so the number of electrons is 250. Here's another question for you. If 80 electrons travel through a potential difference of 500 volts, what is the potential energy change in electron volts? And what is the change in the kinetic energy in electron volts? The change in potential energy is equal to negative Q delta V. Now in this case, we could think of the electrons as being proportional to Q because charge is proportional to the number of charged particles. So 80 electrons will have a charge of 80 times E, where E is 1.6 times 10 to negative 19, but technically negative 1.6 times 10 to negative 19. Now the change in voltage, which is the potential difference, that's going to be 500 volts. So negative 80 times 500, so this is going to be negative 40,000 electron volts.
So that's going to be the potential energy change in electron volts as the electrons move towards a high potential. So if the potential energy decreases by that amount, then we should expect that the change in kinetic energy should increase by that amount. So it's going to increase by 40,000 electron volts. And so you could use this formula instead of the other formula I gave to calculate the energy in electron volts. If you have the number of electrons and also the potential difference or the voltage of the electrons as they travel from one point to another.